Tonight you've gotten to hear a smattering of the wisdom of this amazing group of people. I have learned an immense amount from the people at Starking. But because time is limited, I'm going to highlight three. But before I go there, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to my family. I want to say thank you to the students. And I want to say thank you to the faculty and to the unsung heroes of the school, the staff. Okay, here are my three. Patty Lawrence taught me the phrase, what is true for me. It's a place to begin from, which means that we don't have to have all the answers. We just have to begin. And because we don't have to have all the answers, it affords us the opportunity to be humble. It also makes a claim. It's what's true for me. Me, not necessarily you. You might know something else that's true. And it invites you to consider what I'm saying. And if it doesn't fit for you, that's OK. You just tell me what's true for you. And then we can talk it out. Dr. Ibrahim Farajaje taught me the phrase, both and. You know, we often see situations as either or. For example, we either lead people or we can follow. But what if we do both? What if we collaborate? Using a both and approach builds bridges. You and I, we can both have our voices heard. We can both be seen. Now, this doesn't mean that I never take an either-or approach, but by having this be the last approach I take instead of the first approach, it means that I can be clear that I have, been, I have done my absolute best to be as inclusive as possible without compromising my values. Reverend Dr. Rebecca Parker, she taught me to approach life with fierce curiosity. Curiosity encourages me to ask questions instead of making statements. This inspires conversation rather than stifling it. And fierce, well, fierce just means that I stick to the process even when it's really hard. My fellow graduates, may you say what is true for you. May you use a both and approach as often as possible. And my dear ones, may you have an abiding, fierce curiosity. Thank you.